Loop Cloud's advanced features open up a whole world of creative possibilities that transform the app from an unrivaled sample management system to one capable of music making and sound design. Clicking the edit button in the player unlocks the GUI's full potential so that all of the multi-track, pattern presets, and onboard effects controls can be accessed. So with the advanced controls showing now, I'm free to select tracks in the player, so can choose the second one here to add a bass loop to go with my drums. I can use the plus button to have up to eight tracks in total, so can build up really comprehensive ideas. I'll add a percussion loop to track three now, and lock it to the key of the bass, so the player makes sure that this tuned percussion is in the correct key. And with a few tracks added now, I can mute and solo them with the switches. And adjust individual levels with the sliders if I need to. The player also features a handy suite of editing tools, which can be used to chop up loops. As well as scrub or reverse slices. One-shots can be turned instantly into loops by choosing different patterns from the preset menu, nicely categorized into suitable instrument types. After which, the sample in the pattern can now be switched out by selecting others from the search tabs above, which is a great time saver for patterns that you make regularly and also good for experimentation. With the player's individual slice pitching tool, one-shots can be turned into melodies with a wide range of pattern presets to choose from, many of which contain automated effects, so they evolve over time. Making your own presets is also easy to do, where slices can be duplicated, moved around, and levels and fades adjusted. And effects added. All with a number of factory presets to choose from. Then patterns can be saved into your user library for instant pattern creation from any sample at a later date. All of the player settings can also be saved into session files, which store all tracks, samples, patterns, and FX in use, so that you can return to earlier ideas at any point or make your own template sessions. There's even the possibility of saving a default workspace now, so that search tabs and player settings can be recalled when booting up to help save even more time when starting on a new track.